You've mentioned before that riding in the Kentucky Derby is unlike riding any other race in the world. What is it like going into that first turn, Mikey? <laughs> it all depends where you're at. When I was on Justify, it was pretty sweet, man. We were in front and he was in a really, really uh, high, but, but yet a, a, a nice cruising speed. And I've also been back in that second flight where, I mean, it's just like you're, it's like playing the game of ping pong almost. I mean, there, you're just getting knocked back and forth, you know, and then you could be behind that, which is also not a bad place to be. The only thing with that is in the derby, for whatever reason, horses will come back to you so fast. So you have to be pretty, pretty fortunate, pretty blessed to, to, to get a trip, you know, from, from way back there, which has been done, you know, you know, se several times. It's not that it can't be done, but I mean, there's a whole lot that has to go your way, you know, to come from that far back. At what point out of the gate do you know you're in trouble or you're clear sailing? You know, you would think going a mile and a quarter, if you missed the break a little bit, that you'd be okay. That's a death sentence. I mean, nine times out of 10. Uh, again, there's been situations that it's worked out for horses, but I would, I would, I would literally say nine times out of ten, if you miss a break a little, man, I mean, you go from being where you're supposed to be maybe third, fourth, or fifth, uh, you're 16th, 17th, 18th, and, and, and being knocked around. So it's very important just to jump well, even though you're going a mile and a quarter. You would think, well, that's not that important, but it is in the Derby, because they don't ride it like it's a normal mile and quarter race. They, they literally ride it like, to me, it's, it's ridden a lot like a 440-yard race for the first hundred yards out of there, and then everything settles into place afterwards, so it, it's, it's tough.